All right, today on Pharmacology, we're going to be going over the EpiPen. All right, the EpiPen uh, for the EMT Basic, this is going to be the drug of choice for anaphylaxis. Uh, may have some associated uh, localized allergic reaction for this, but your uh, main indication is going to be for an anaphylactic re uh, reaction. Uh, just a little bit about epinephrine. Uh, this mimics the response of the sympathetic nervous system. Uh, it's uh, very fast acting, constricts the blood, uh, blood vessels to improve the, uh, the blood pressure, uh, reduces the capillary leakage to stop the swelling, reduces or relaxes the smooth muscles in the lungs to alleviate wheezing and uh, difficulty breathing, which is our, our main goal here. And uh, this will stimulate uh, the heart and uh, helps work to reduce the swelling in hives. Uh, the class is a sympathomimetic, which uh, simply means this is uh, mimics the sympathetic nervous system. Uh, sympathomimetic and sympathetic nervous system uh, is synonymous with uh, adrenergic. Epinephrine is a catecholamine uh, and is going to directly stimulate the alpha, beta 1, beta 2, uh, receptors. Uh, these come supplied as a prescription, uh, so you, when we uh, consider giving this, uh, we have to satisfy all five rights. The patient has to, has to have this uh, prescribed to them. Uh, the EMT basic will not carry this on the ambulance. Uh, these typically come, um, some of the older packaging had one auto injector in it. Uh, a lot of the new stuff are coming out with a second dose. Uh, and uh, most of these are coming with a trainer. Um, make sure when you get there uh, that the if the patient's already taken this, make sure they didn't use the trainer. Uh, it contains no needle and no medication. This is just simply to uh, show them how to use it. Uh, I have come across that. So uh, if they're saying it didn't work, uh, just make sure the uh, they didn't use the trainer uh, auto injector. Uh, this here is the EpiPen Junior. This is a lower dose for obviously for children. Uh, so these are out there. Uh, the indications uh, has to be anaphylaxis. Uh, you're going to have to differentiate between anaphylaxis and just from a simple allergic reaction. What you see here on the screen, this is uh, uticaria or what some people call a skin rash or hives. Uh, you can see this. This is uh, a pretty severe allergic reaction, but this may or may not be anaphylaxis. Uh, so how do we tell? Our main, uh, our main go-to to differentiate anaphylaxis and just a simple allergic reaction is the airway. So you can see here, um, once they are exposed to whatever the cause was, uh, this is a very rapid onset. Uh, they're not going to get stung by a bee and then eight hours later start to have a reaction. Uh, this is a very rapid onset from the time of the cause. Uh, what we're looking for is uh, difficulty breathing. They may feel a tightness in their throat, difficulty swallowing, uh, difficulty speaking, um, a feeling of apprehension. They can have the tingling, numbness, swelling in the mouth, anywhere in the face, the tongue, the lips, uh, anywhere in the throat. Um, going into anaphylactic shock, uh, they're going to uh, go tachycardic, and the blood pressure is going to drop. So that's a uh, that's a classic sign there. Uh, severe reactions can also produce a loss of consciousness. Uh, there's lots of causes out there. Uh, can be from uh, from a new medication. This can be from food allergies, insect stings, uh, just about anything out there. Someone can be uh, allergic to it. Uh, so you can see here, this is a little chart of what's going on during the anaphylactic reaction. Uh, you may or may not have all of these. Uh, our, uh, again, what we're looking for, where our concentration is going to be in the respiratory. So if your patient is presenting with uh, either audible uh, wheezing or wheezing uh, that you can also take with the stethoscope, uh, if they feel like they are short of breath, uh, chest pain or chest tightness, a tightness in the throat, any type of trouble swallowing, uh, the voice could be uh, very hoarse, um, 
anything like this, uh, this is going to be an indication for uh, the EpiPen. Uh, now, the rest of these uh, you may or may not get. Uh, once you start getting further into the reaction, uh, you can definitely have the cardiovascular, where they'll get tachycardic. Um, they can go into uh, uh, anaphylactic shock, presenting with the tachycardia and the drop in blood pressure. Um, but our main thing here is going to be the respiratory. You see some pictures here. Um, this upper right picture of the uh, the this uh, this patient's tongue being swollen up. Uh, this is what we would characterize the laryngeal edema. Uh, the picture in the top middle here, this uh, these big puffy eyes. Uh, that alone may not indicate the need for an EpiPen. Uh, if we definitely had any type of respiratory problems, uh, we we would want to give it. Uh, the child in the upper left here with the uh, the lips that are swollen up, absolutely. Uh, without a doubt, that could be an airway problem, so we would definitely want to give the uh, EpiPen Junior. Uh, the lower left here with these uh, localized hives, this may or may not be an indication depending on if there's any uh, airway problems. <clears throat> uh, contraindications, uh, if this is anaphylaxis, uh, then there are no contraindications in a life-threatening uh, reaction. Uh, so if you definitely have any type of wheezing or, or airway problems, uh, without a doubt, we want to go ahead and give this. <clears throat> uh, the dose for the auto injector, uh, most adult doses are 0 0.3 milligrams. Uh, the EpiPen Junior is going to be a uh, half that, which would be a 0 0.15 milligrams. Um, you have to make sure you have either a uh, online order or or uh, standing orders from medical direction. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so once you give this, uh, we have some expected side effects because this is uh, affecting the alpha, beta 1, and beta 2 uh, adrenergic receptors. Uh, we, we have some expected side effects, uh, things like palpitations where they can feel their heartbeat, uh, tachycardia, blood pressure goes up, Headaches, nausea, vomiting, uh, anxiety, tremors, all these type things are expected. So we, uh, the, the method to administer uh, the EpiPen after we've uh, uh, satisfied all five rights, uh, these come with a little safety cap, a little blue cap on the end of it. That's the, the back end. The orange tip is what you place against the body. Uh, there are seems to be some misconception whether you can or uh, administer this through the clothing. You absolutely can uh, administer this through clothing. Just make sure there's no, no keys in their pocket or a phone or anything like that that's going to uh, bend or break the needle. Uh, at a 90 degree angle, we want to go to the, uh, the outer thigh. Press and hold. You'll hear the click. The auto injector will uh, it, the needle's on a spring, so once there's enough pressure against the tip, the needle will, will poke out. The uh, medication will ad administer, so you want to hold it there for about 10 solid seconds. And then uh, at a 90 degrees, quickly remove it and massage the leg. Uh, the needle here stays exposed, so this is a sharp, so make sure you dispose of this properly. <clears throat> um and most most protocols will allow you a uh, if it's available to go ahead and give a second dose, or your protocols may just require you to uh, contact uh, med control. Uh, so make sure we always reassess, reassess, reassess. And um, if, as always, if you guys got any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up.